Hey, we finally get a mild day. It's like 32 degrees out today. Already been back from uh, a little bit of a ride. But anyway, one thing I wanted to check on was the oil mix for the snowmobile because I had adjusted it about a half a turn more uh, a few years ago, and I have a video on that, more than what I thought was factory spec. And I thought whatever the factory set the oil injection cable at, that's what it stayed at for the life of the sled. But what I found out was when you do any work on the sled and move the carburetor throttle cables adjustments in any way, then you need to recheck your oil injection adjustment cable. So that's what I got to do because I have moved those cables to resynchronize them. So now it's time to check on the oil injection. And the reason I'm checking on the oil injection is because in the shop manual, and I quote, too little oil means inadequate lubrication. Oh, that means, you know, burned out pistons and connecting rods and all that kind of stuff. Uh, crankshaft bearings. Oh my goodness. All right. Too much oil. And this is what I didn't know. I knew it could foul spark plugs, but too much oil means spark plug fouling, rapid carbonization, and overheated pistons, all of which may lead to engine damage and costly repairs. So that's why I said, you know what? I better check on that and see just exactly what mine is set at. All right, well, here we are in the garage or at the garage getting ready to do the deed. And I wanted to read this out of the shop manual. Uh, I heard a conflicting report from Shane Connolly. Shane has his own YouTube channel and he does small engine repair and even big engine repair. He's done uh, quite a bit. I think he's a teacher. He teaches a class. And on his video, he was uh, saying that the manual suggests that you line up the two marks that we're going to see on the oil injection pump uh, when the throttle is wide open. But my Polaris shop manual says oil pump adjustment all models. After the engine RPM and carburetor adjustments have been made, the oil pump must also be adjusted. Well, that's why we're here now, okay? Oil pump adjustment. With engine shut off and throttle in its idle position, the pump lever index mark, which they show a picture of and label A, must align with the pump housing boss index mark, which they've got labeled as B, okay? Loosen the lock nuts on the cable housing sleeve and very uh, the cable housing length as required to line those two marks up at idle. That's what the manual here says. Uh, note, verify that pump lever is actuated upon initial throttle opening. So we'll do that too. But this says with it in its idle uh, position to line the two marks up on the rotating lever and the boss that's, that's stamped onto the housing of the oil pump. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go by what it says in the shop manual for my Polaris. And that's for all models. And I forget what, uh, what, what this book is good for, but it's from the 1980s through the 1990s Polaris snowmobiles. So that's what we're going by today. Um, you do it according to what you feel is right, but that's what it says in my shop manual. So that's why I'm going that way. Okay. Okay, this is even harder to film, but down there is the oil injection pump and the lever that runs the uh, along with the throttle. Okay, and those lines are supposed to point to each other when you let off the throttle, when, the, when you're at idle position. And mine is just a little bit too much. I did adjust this a while back, but I didn't take into consideration that the throttle lines are readjusted from time to time or stretch over time and that will make the two of them go out of sync with each other. So what I'm going to do, there's a jam nut on the top and bottom of this barrel. So just loosen up the top one is what I've done and I'm going to see if I can turn the adjuster barrel only until that line down there until those lines line up. So I've got to give it some slack to do that. So let's see if it'll 
I don't even know if I can get in there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well, through the use of a 10 millimeter wrench and an adjustable, I got the barrel adjuster turned down a bit. It's easier to do with that carburetor out of the way, by the way. Easier is better. And if you can see the line down there, there's also another line with the throttle wide open. They just about line up. But the two line up on idle, just like the shop manual suggests that the two lines line up when the throttle is in the idle position. So that's what we got down there. So I think our job here is done. Time to put everything back together.